Window shopping in downtown Toronto is not what it used to be. It seems store after store is selling pot. Now there is a move to limit the concentration of stores in the downtown core. They're quite concerned that on Queen East there's already six cannabis stores within two and a half blocks. They're not happy with that. In the last three years, about 1,200 shops have opened across the province. It's been challenging, but it's also been interesting. Benjamin Tran owns four stores, including one in the heart of Toronto's Chinatown district. He is surrounded by competitors. There's days that I kind of ask myself, you know, why there's so many stores in the area, right? For Tran to survive and thrive has meant being nimble. His downtown location caters more to tourists and students who prefer pre-roll joints. This is actually a... This Toronto-based cannabis consultant tells her clients selling marijuana requires figuring out who your clients are, then working hard to keep them. The reality is, is that the days of those stores opening up and being multi-million dollar stores the moment that they opened is no longer the case. Ontario's growing pains are playing out to some degree across the country as provinces, regulators and industry figure out exactly what works best. All provinces have retail outlets, but the rules aren't as liberal as Ontario's. In Calgary, for example, pot stores must maintain a certain distance from each other. In Nova Scotia, only provincial liquor stores can sell pot. Industry watchers are urging patience. I honestly believe that if you just sit on it for a year, uh, free market forces are, are going to solve this problem um, on their own. Not all of these stores can survive. Right now, hundreds more stores are slated to open as the industry comes out of the shadows and into the bright lights of Main Street. Jamie Strachan, CBC News, Toronto.